it's very interesting because uh, I just came from IATA's energy forum which happened a few days ago in uh, Vienna and following the same discussion of aviation fuel here in the AGM which is very critical and the presence of the high level and the CEOs of the airlines. Today the aviation fuel topic is getting the, the prior, top priority of our agenda as a government of the UAE as well as the international governments uh, through the IKU as well. You had some very interesting insights during your panel discussion. Would you care to share some of those with our viewers? Yeah, we, we highlighted the importance of the agreement that we have all came together on the last, uh, in, in last November here in Dubai, the Dubai Global Framework for Aviation uh, uh, Fuel, including LCAF, SAF, and cleaner energy, other cleaner energy. And that declaration was not an easy one, and it shows how the all the individual stakeholders of the sector are committed to the 5% reduction by 2030. And it's not just a role of the one entity or one stakeholder, it's a, a collective effort that we have to come together and make sure that it's happening. We know that the fuel will play the big junk, but we want as a government, along with other uh, stakeholders, including the airlines and the energy suppliers, to make sure that we are transitioning wisely where we don't harm both sectors as well. And sustainability a key topic here at the AGM as well. Do you think net zero by 2050 is achievable? Net zero by 2050, uh, it will be achievable in one condition. If we close all the missing chains, and when I say missing chains, now today, as of today, every single discussion happening individually with different stakeholders. For example, uh, we had the Green Airports uh, seminar in Athena in, in April. It was focused on the airport readiness for the new energy uh, sources. Then we had last week the Vienna discussion where we had only the uh, uh, oil producer or the energy producers. Today we have mostly the airlines. So we are aiming to have one meeting that we collect all these partners and stakeholders together to make sure that first of all they talk to each other and that's why UAE is now uh, going to host next year the JEST25 which is a global implementation and support uh, symposium and within that they will be for the first time ever under the IKU's umbrella the introduction to the SAM which is the sustainable aviation fuel market. And we are going to invite all the stakeholders, without missing anyone, inshallah, to talk to each other and create the right model or the right chain that will help them to transition to the net zero, either by 2030, the 5%, or net zero by 2050. Thank you so much for your time. We wish you all the best. Thank you for being here.